So yeah, technically, we should be live, and we should switch up. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Uh, Valentine and Dania, since it's been level, a level, you're level four. I forgot to add your stats in. Oh, um, yeah. okay. Well, I can take care of that real quick. Dania is more difficult because she's got spells and shit, but. Uh, no, oh, quite. I mean, the more the thing I would like to know is basically your AC and HP. If hold on, I gotta. I I pulled my character sheet up in the wrong software. One sec. It's fine. Essentially, we got some time until your or GB shows up. Okay. But yeah, session seven. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. As it is, it's always scuffed. Everything, every single stream, some aspect will always be scuffed. We can never uh, lose the scuffness. Mm. Okay, my uh, HP is 39, my armor is 18. Yeah, but you're level 4. Yeah, I know. Uh... That That's my... That's my stats at level four. Uh, no, you were a level you you have thirty nine HP at level. Oh my bad! I accidentally set it to total average. Uh, my max HP is fifty two. Yeah, fifty two NAC. Eighteen. Okay, cool. Does eight does AC go up per level? No, but you know no. if you if you pick up a specific you know uh, trait or I guess feat with modifiers. There's a chance you might just increase AC. So it's always nice to ask just. Okay, and I guess. I assume Dania just picked the uh, Warlock. Yeah. Very cool. So I assume she got same AC then. One of the benefits of max HP. You can always know how much HP everybody has. Really? Hmm. But yeah, how's how's your weeks been? Seeing seeing as we haven't seen each other for two weeks individually, mm. been going all right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, I have breakfast, but it's like the seventh bed. I am now a literal walking toolbox. Let's go. Let's go, Cindy. Let's go. Okay, so scroll up. <laughs> Hold on. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah. You can wait a minute until the final player shows up. Hmm. You got a deal. Wow. Yeah, I completely forgot that the my prepared spells increase with half level and with intelligence modifier. So I've got, like I'm using the like the Adobe thing that like kind of auto that automatically tells me what I have to prepare, which is really convenient. Mm. Mm. So, um, Vivi's gonna be here in five minutes. Uh, would you be down to begin? Because technically, all all is going to be at the very beginning is Valentine's decision of what to do. Oh, oh. speaking of... Hello. There you go. Everybody's here. Let's it was go. running! Ow. Yeah, ow. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Good to see you're alive and well. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm alive or well. E. Aww. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> oh boy. I I suggest mm. you uh, be 
to slightly lower the volume of the bot because it's very loud. And you don't want to. Yeah, we got a we got a, a music bot, finally. Bro, I'm gonna start multi-classing. Oh, Let's I have go. every music bot uh, muted on default. My fourth level shit's boring. Oh. I guess I'm gonna turn it up a bit. It really is. <laughs> Anyway, since everybody has... Oh, Valentine, did you pick up a feat? Wait. Or did we level up? Yes. No one told me! No one told me about it! I was not there last time! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yeah. my god. I guess I might level up at the back one again. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody told her, really. <laughs> god damn. Um... So since everybody has gathered after stream to start, uh, I have a question. Are you ready to begin? As ready as we're gonna be, yeah. I suppose. Let's Technically see. no, but yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the fucking spirit. Uh, I don't think that is a spirit, it's just what did. Determination, maybe. Um no. so anyway. Last we left off, um, from the last session two weeks ago, that one person was not present, you ventured out of Plata South uh, towards Grey Storm. Uh, had only two encounters of notice, uh, one being a trap set by the satyrs that you successfully deactivated, exploding it in the process, nearly uh, killing uh, Faerun in the process. And then an encounter with elks uh, trying to feed the elks or shoot the elks as they were driving through the uh, following you with, with your caravan. Uh, where Sephitra got, got dragged from the cart and nearly trampled to death, which was nice. And then you decided to take a long rest, uh, which went without any incident. Uh, Valentine being the one who took the first... Um, charge but then immediately passed out and then if i remember cor cor correctly Faron was the one that woke up first spotted there was a kenku and then oh yeah and then showcased uh, actually i guess but basically woke up valentine uh and basically showcased that there was a kenku sleeping in the cart with all of you uh a plus one in the out of nowhere. So, with that technically being said, um, let's see if this kind of works, please. There you go. Okay. So, Valentine, my good sir. Uh, <laughs> Baron wakes you up and tells you that there is something in the car with you. Um, you're woken up. Uh, to this little fella uh, fast asleep alongside you and everybody else that you know in in the wagon with you how would you like to proceed he is silent hmm. God, oh. sorry we were trying to figure out Dania's character sheet um so what do I do about this, uh, the Kenku? Yes. Uh, my first instinct would be to, uh, grab him and throw him out of the, out of the wagon. <laughs> uh, uh, are you just gonna grab by anything or are you just gonna grab it anywhere specific? Like, by the I mean, I assume he's smaller than me, right? Yes, he is. He is about um, uh, two feet and a half tall. Two and a half feet tall. Yeah, I'm going to pick him up like a toddler and I'm going to throw him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You just all of a sudden just hear a whoop as you check it out of the wagon. The Kenku hits its head on, on the grass, tumbles a bit in pain, and then stands up. <laughs> Basically... Wipes off the dust, the mud, and the excess amount of uh, leaves. And then looks at all of you. Mainly you, Valentine, because everybody else except for you and Faerun. 
are asleep and just says, rude. I, rude, I, I rude, just poke rude. my head out and like, are you okay? I'll show you rude, little man. And I get out of the wagon and uh, get my whip out. <laughs> uh, you see, you see, okay, so you see this two and a half foot tall Kenku wielding a simple staff, what seems to be just a simple twig, and has very simple plain clothes. It all of a sudden just takes a few steps back, uh, positioning its uh, staff in defensive position. Uh, I don't want any trouble, mister. I don't want any trouble. Why were you sleeping with us? Uh... Warm? Go ahead, answer your question. Yeah. His question. Yeah. Warm? It was cold outside. Aww. Aww. I guess that's... My aww I was sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, uh, Dania, Recipitra, Uriel, and Jockey, yeah. your, your squire Valentine, also wake up from this uh, ruckus. You can see that there is. I call. I call Jockey to the front. <laughs> Jockey immediately, half half stumbling out of just emerging from sleep, he just flops on the ground. Immediately stands up by you. At attention. <laughs> he's just there. I, I'm making sure he's there. More bodies. Uh huh. I turned to the rest of it. Body. Like, he he woke up in. He was sleeping in the cart with us, but he was cold. We can let him go, right? Sleepover party! <laughs> Sleepover party. <laughs> I check my I check my gold. Do I have all the gold I had when uh, I went to sleep? A few seconds after looking for your pouch and counting the gold. Yes, every single gold seems to be in place. Uh, all of a sudden, the Kenku just kind of shakes its head in displeasement. You think me of a petty thief? Yes. <laughs> Rude. Fair. <laughs> Rude. Matter, maybe so. he's some kind of weird pervert. <laughs> Wait, oh, <what>? ew. <laughs> What's a pervert? Uh, uh, no. It's somebody who no. wants to touch you in no. inappropriate ways. No. No. <laughs> if any mysterious bird men ever touch you in a way that you don't like, tell me, and I'll do something about it. Oh, that's no good. Like touching birds. Because that's no good. I think if it's bird touches her, she's gonna devour that bird. <laughs> that's it. it. It looks even more, uh, I guess, disappointed in all of you. Uh -huh. Rude. Anyway. You can be disappointed. I'll be off my way then. And then waves all its, right. its uh, staff at you all and just starts walking opposite. Uh, up north, the way you came. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Yeah, staff. He gets a kick out of watching you sleep and then he just leaves. <laughs> oh, no. I got ten gold that he shows up in our cart again. <laughs> oh, I actually uh, figured something out while sleeping about that. I, mm -hmm. I should. I uh, thought about the contraption from uh, yesterday a bit, and I think I should be able to replicate its trigger with my body. Oh, really? Ew. Sadly, I won't be able to replicate what uh, it did after being triggered, but I should be able to figure out if someone's near us. <laughs> Uh, well, that'll be handy for, a, you know. Backpacks. But yeah, uh, seeing as a good few moments pass, uh, the burb is getting uh, away from you. Casually walking through the grass fields up the road and just proceeds to head north. Okay. Anyway, Should we head out? We we like I... I don't know. I was a kind of a trance last time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I I remember this. We are going to Graystorm so we can go to Ash Baskets. What we yes. intend to do in Ash Baskets, I have forgotten. 
Uh, you, you We're investigating the treasure trove thing. Right, okay. right, right, right. Exactly. So, um, a mild winds and clear skies greet you all. I would like you, one of you to roll me a d10 as you set out for south. Hey, it just occurred to me. Hang on, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll a um, knowledge of nature actually. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be just a nature check, yes. Just a nature check, whatever. Wait, what is mine? Oh, would you like to figure out? Uh, well, I it occurred to me that we are traveling in the vicinity. Oh wow. Uh, it occurred to me that we're traveling in the vicinity of Kolkazan's volcano. Mm -hmm. And I was going to figure out what I know about it, but apparently, um, a whole fucking lot, apparently. Uh huh. So, uh, Kolkazan's volcano is an artificial volcano that was made or created by uh, a scuffle between powerful wizards about seven centuries ago. Uh, while still smoldering and uh, quite active. It's a little threat to the region, as the volcano itself is very small, but there's a lot of just of ashy uh, plains and forests around that area. And that's the reason Ash Baskets is called Ash Baskets. Wow. Okay. Ash Basket. Hello, that's my hometown. Ash Basket. Oh, you can't find that? Um... Also, also yeah. Valentine, you As know, basket. you don't know much, but because you rolled a 22, you know that there is a cult that worships the volcano, that lives in the volcano. They live in the in volcano? The volcano. At, oh, in the no. volcano or at the volcano, you have no clue. You just know that something oh, lives. Oh no, if I hear cult, I don't like it. <laughs> why, why, why? I bet they've got some completely sick ass volcano themed stuff I can take. I mean, you do remember that I'm trying to hunt down a cold rain. Yeah, yeah, Volcano but like, wouldn't cult. that be good then? Because then there's Obsidian. a cold Obsidian. Obsidian. Oh, you think the, oh, the Volcano guys probably have an Obsidian thing I can- Oh my god, we gotta go- <laughs> Realizing this, Valentine turns to the rest of the group and says, Hey, so what do you guys think if we- Because I assume we're between Greystorm and the road. Right uh, now? No, no, you're still you're still heading south from Platus. You still haven't met the crossroads. Uh, but speaking of which, speaking of this little conversation having, about half an hour in your journey and realizing this epiphany, uh, you realize in the background you see the mountainous area to your south uh, west that is uh, the volcano, or I guess the surrounding mountains that encompasses the volcano in the middle. I point at the volcano and I turn to my party and I say do you guys want to go on a little detour? <laughs> uh, sure, why yes. not? Where are we going? <laughs> so, over there is Kolkuzan's volcano and if I'm not mistaken there is a group that lives in that volcano or around it that worships the volcano and I have a sneaking suspicion that um hmm. well I'm not going to lie to you I kind of want their stuff <laughs> Can I eat that stuff? No. I mean, if there's excess stuff, I don't care what you do with it. Can the slime eat do magma? It? I can't think in so. Indeed, can the slime eat magma? Uh, Resipitra. Uh, yeah, inconclusive. <laughs> I don't think I she has heat resistance. Any, um, heat resistance at all, so I doubt it. Okay, just... good to know. She will just either melt or, like, just vaporize it. <laughs> well, to be fair, I doubt we'd go into the caldera because, you know, I, I doubt they're actually in there. They would all die. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, unless their armor protects them from that much heat, we gotta go. <laughs> uh, does armor protect you from heat? It does oh, if it's special volcano it's armor, armor. Resafitra. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a... Roll, volcano armor. Roll me a d10. I wonder how volcano armor takes. Ooh, Valentine. Um, in the distance, as you kind of realize that there is a nice potential uh, goal just in the distance, uh, 
uh, a good few, maybe a dozen or so miles away. Well, a few dozen. Uh, but still a goal nonetheless. Uh, but making about three hours of journey just for the track without any single incident, you all of a sudden, in the distance, about a mile away, finally spot a crossroads. An actual crossroads that, uh, in the distance, you can see a large stone by the road that is about 20 feet tall. And by that stone, there is a small camp of like six or seven tents. Two smoke pillars of uh, fire. Uh, seems to be lively. So I pull out my map. Yes. And I say, okay, so if I'm not mistaken, Graystorm should be immediately to our... Uh, yeah, to the west. Immediately to the west. That to the west, be, thank yes. you. Cause, <laughs> Brain's brain fart. Because you, you realize that the path, like the road is continuing like far south and then west. And then this giant split of just trees, it just basically shows you that there is only one way west, and this is probably it. Um, so if we head into the forest from here, going just a little bit more west, uh, a little more southwest than south, we should hit Kokuzan's volcano. Are we gonna say hello to these people? If you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should tell them that there are bombs on the way. Well, on the way to the volcano? Well, it's up to you to decide. No, on the road, like the one we uh, found. Oh yeah, no, we should warn the we we should warn them that the road is treacherous. So let's go. What's, okay. Maybe we can make them trust us and then. Infiltrate. Infiltrate what? Attack. It's just a camp. Yeah. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so, give me just quickly a uh, second as I'm going to change the music. And then just going to Has do... there been music? Yeah. In the bot. Oh. Yes. I had to turn it up a lot to hear the wind sounds. If you blast me with music right now, I'm going to punch you. Okay, it's fine. Just, just make sure to. See. The volume like fifty. Yeah. Okay. So, making downwards uh, towards the camp, uh, you see about seven horses, about eighteen or so people, heavily armored, very well equipped, uh, crossbows at a ready at the moment's notice. Uh, they all spot you approaching, they not hail you, they not approach you, they just kind of keeping to the outer perimeters of this uh, modest camp. Um, you could technically Hello. ride by Hi, them. <laughs> or... It's a Pokemon. She just says that line yeah. over and over again. But, uh, whatever, whatever it may be, roll me a perception check. All of us? Uh, yeah. I'll Let's go. It. Damn. Oh my god. That is quite some perception. We are all very on the ball today. Uh, no, wait. No, I'm not yet. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Um, okay, so, no. Dania, maybe? Or she. She's doing it. She got distracted. Okay, okay. I'm tattling. Oh my Cattle god, tattled. a four. Are you ki yeah. kidding me? Anyway. Yeah, we're all on the ball except for Uriel. It's my Uriel. This, this time I don't even this And time, Dania. This time I don't even have a negative thing on my fucking wisdom because I got a, a, a ability score improvement and I still rolled terribly. Alrighty, <laughs> alrighty. So give me a second. I'm just gonna... Oh, you, you didn't you didn't witness Dian my luck last time, did you? Oh, Diana yeah. is even worse than I am. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god. Give me a second. Um, uh, where is it? I'm looking for Dianea, one. Uh, stares at them in a way that offends them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Oh yeah. Okay. So what you basically see in this midst of heavily armored guards, 
who basically greet you with a hand wave but don't really talk or interact with you, waving at you, Rosifitra kind of confusingly. Uh, you see in the middle of the camp, surrounded by two, uh, uh, four guards, there is this heated discussion between these two individuals. One seems an elderly man uh, befitting like a hermit or a wizard. Uh, shouting the other guy oh. sh shouting insults and profanities at this very calm and I guess concentrated individual a human maybe uh, in his mid-20s no more than 30s just kind of waiting for a, a retort after the babbling of the old man uh, mm, you do be looking delicious Wait, wait, what? Nothing, nothing. Ah, yes. I, I mean, yeah. Uh, but, okay, Valent, uh, technically everybody, except for Euro and Dania, can hear. As the insults pewing stops, uh, the young warrior just kind of crosses his hand, staring at the old man, says, We're not hunting your fucking deer. You got a job to do, we're paid to protect you. Now do what you are told, and let's get on with our lives. Um, technically, you're maybe 60 feet away from this conversation. It's audible enough for all of you to hear it. As you're still on the wagon, kind of just crossing the camp, just, just kind of by its side. Do we want to, like, say hi, or...? It's, uh, it's already did that. Sure. <laughs> I mean, a handful, a handful of people just uh, wave the guards, more like as a, like a hail, hey, like you know everything's fine. Um, uh, Rizvitra, would you yell? Like, would you be loud about this? I could cast Valmatergy on her as she... I'm asking her. I mean, I've, I've literally been yelling at every person I've oh. that hasn't oh. greeted me yet, but... Uh, okay. Hello, uh, I, I'm at the same <laughs> Okay, if you're yelling, uh, as the dear common was uh, ushered by the man's lips, uh, both almost immediately stop their conversation and just look at you, Recipitra, yelling, yelling and ba baffling. And then you see the widest a gape smile from the old man as all of a sudden he starts running at you nearly tripping oh three God. times what kill you run away he sounds creepy <laughs> no i uh, turn to him i wave and i uh, say hello i'm red Sophia. uh <laughs> the old man uh goes like 10 feet um to your side, or I guess to the cart side, out of breath, coughing up immensely, and immediately just regaining composure, gripping his staff, and just staring at you, Recipitra. That is a lovely name! Where did you get it? I gave it myself. Oh, oh, he all of a sudden, he has like three massive uh, bags around him, and he just grabs, just Lunges his hand into one of them, grabs out a notebook, and starts scribbling. Ah, interesting, interesting. Anything else? Uh, also kind of, like, for the first time, he acknowledges all of you. Oh! Oh, I didn't see you there. Uh, <clears throat> he immediately puts aside his uh, quill and his book and looks at all of you. Does a very deep bow to the point nearly tripping over himself? then kind of composing himself back and says I am Master Theo at your service or rather uh... you could be a service of my experiments since these buffoons he looks back to uh, the warrior maybe 40 feet behind him still staring at the old man I need some help I'm willing to pay gold. Silver. I like gold. Gold, you say? What uh, sort of experiment? Uh, please come inside my camp. It's uh, it's not good business to 
be making deals on the road. As he kind of turns around and walks back into the camp, he basically shouts uh, uh, loudly. Kind of too loud for an old man, you assume. These are my guests. Do not hard harm them, but do not let them go in the places that I restricted for you. And then he kind of just walks towards uh, one of the these tents. that are about like 40 feet wide. Just goes inside and just closes uh, the, the hole into the uh, tent with the cloth hanging above it. Uh, I, I guess go. we follow him. Okay, I guess. He is really I'll creepy. Like experiments. Experiments are fun. <laughs> I think I'm willing to hear him out. Huh? But, you know, it at, at the first like, sign. Go ahead. It, so it sounded more that he wanted to experiment on you. <laughs> yeah. I experiment on myself. <laughs> that is... Even weirder. Anyway, I, I guess we go in. You want gold, and I guess we go for gold. Yay! Yeah. Yay. At the first sign of weirdness, though, I'm out. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Same. Um. Also, as you walk by, um, the the warrior that you saw talking to the old man just kind of intervenes uh, between all of you, kind of stops you for a second. Name's Dio. Now, I gotta warn you. The man pays well. But don't go overboard with his little experiments. He's here to do simple surveying. And we're here to protect him. For anything that would be a threat to him. Mm hmm. Just... How do you know that we're not a threat? What well, is it? I mean, we're not a threat. The yeah, old man. I'm just the... saying, like, we just arrived and he was like, Yeah, welcome, welcome in, let's go. The old man is sporadic and old. But if he says you're friends, then he, you're his friends. And if he says to kill you all, I will kill you all. Yeah, there. Is he trying? Oh, okay. Well, that's all. That's all fine and good, my good man. But um, I mean, we could just leave. How about that? You could. Nobody's stopping you. Yeah. He looks at you, blinking once. And then Only once. <laughs> And then steps aside. Uh, and the teacher, uh, mimics very explicitly the motion of blinking. Oh, does it look like in a slime? <laughs> you're you're... It's like a bunch of slime covering, like, uh, little ice blocks for a moment and then, like, flowing back up. <laughs> Aren't you see through so it doesn't look like you blink? Yeah, but there's, uh, like, a bunch of slime in front of it for a moment. Anyway, um, yeah, technically the free to, uh, the old man Theo's, um, places. I guess nobody's stopping you. So you have a choice to go inside, to leave, to look around the camp if you want. I think he likes me. <laughs> Um, how about we just go in, listen to it, and if it's yeah, I too... suppose we might as well go in and stick a rest feature so she doesn't get like kidnapped by this weird, <laughs> weird man. Well, the people are definitely on her way. Okay. Okay. Who's I'll following? Follow I'm following. Can you? Us, I think. I'll follow too. Okay, give me a second. I'm just gonna make. Well, if everyone else is going, then I guess I have to as well. Okay. So, give me a second. Just gonna make sure that I don't accidentally do something stupid. And yeah, I'm gonna change the music real quick. Uh, yeah. 
So, um, takes just a few seconds um, to walk into the tent. The tent from the outside is just plain white linen, uh, masterfully set up for not just a overnight camp, more like for several weeks, maybe months, to be at the same position. Quite a bit of work has been put onto this. Uh, walking inside, it's a big, wide interior. Uh, there's a simple hay bed, and there's like three or four tables decked out in carcasses? Uh, parts of- carcasses? No, 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 animal carcasses. Oh. Um, um, a bunch of organs. Uh, a bunch of flasks, a lot of uh, potions, a lot of uh, components for what you assume is alchemy, and a few arcane artifacts, uh, baubles, trinkets. Uh, mainly these red crystals that are the size of a coins, but there's like 20 of them floating above one of the tables. As the man scrambling rapidly on the table immediately turns around eyes you again good for you to come come Ooh. I, I have to pick my dots immediately it sprints over to the table with the uh, like potions ingredients and like red gem thingies Ooh. and uh, looks at all of them intently uh, the, the, like to... the old man immediately stands up almost with cautiously <clears throat> Uh, with all due respect, do not touch, do not touch, it's very, it's very precise, I'd rather not to disrupt this. <clears throat> um, uh, he kind of immediately, he kind of just stabs the staff into the ground and then looks at all of you. Well, two questions. Which one of you is the leader of this group, and how do you call yourselves? I would like to look at the uh, ingredients, gems, and potions, and <laughs> roll me an arcana in nature. Yes, may I roll with advantage, considering that I'm an alchemist with alchemist supply sure. proficiency, herbalism kit proficiency, for, for nature kit proficiency. <laughs> for nature, <laughs> arcana is normal check. Uh, so yeah, the old man asks, uh, "Who's the leader, and what are, do you call yourselves?" Okay, so that I is a good question. Who's the leader? Glory democracy. I mean, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to assume upon myself, but... Okay. I guess you... it's Valentine. Yeah. Surprisingly low. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He nods immediately, grabs a piece of paper, scribbles a bit down, looks back at you, Valentine. And how do you call yourselves your little... Uh, Group of mercenaries, adventurers of whatnot. I hope it's something catchy. Catchy! Oh. Catchy. Uh -huh. Prepare to be disappointed. The, uh, <laughs> the, the, the man is visibly disappointed by that response. <laughs> oh, it's worse than you think. We don't even have a proper name. He almost like frustrated just kind of lifts his tap into there let's well, be the wandering vipers that's a cool name I the wandering so. vipers i'll, I'll take it what the one <laughs> sounds cool and people won't mess with us i like dianea's uh name yes that's too edgy thank you Rosefitra. the wandering no Vipers. The fact that Yero doesn't like it makes me want to go there. <laughs> Not. Uh, uh, he... Why do you hate me all so much? Well, <laughs> he kind of writes down the the name cautiously, and then looks at you. Don't Valentine. write the name. Don't write the. <laughs> anyway. Wait. So are we the wandering vipers now? I don't know. No, no. He looks. He looks at you cautiously, Valentine. Is this the group name? It seems all kind of sporadic. Uh, I mean, those two seem to like wandering vipers, and I don't really care, so. I guess we're wandering vipers now. We are the wandering vipers. <laughs> Yay. 
He kind of, he kind of just writes it cautiously into the page. Yeah, you but, haven't written my name on that, right? Uh, I have. No, he hasn't written your name yet. Uh, okay, I don't. can't believe you guys don't like my amazing name. We kept I it, didn't we? Amazing name. Give me a second. Let me just quickly chase the. I'm top. not fond of it. Let me. Let me. Maybe I will grow up to like it. Listen, I don't know. Uh, let me just say this. I'm just gonna change the title of this thing. <laughs> the wandering vipers. vipers exactly. Oh, so it look like yeah, a, watch out! Like... We'll we'll bite you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally we'll you know envenomate you. you. <laughs> How tall are you, Dana? What? How tall are you again? Um, I'm sh shorter. Baby snake. Baby <laughs> snake. <laughs> Don't worry, I can bite and I do have venom. <laughs> you even have teeth. See, perfect. He, uh, the old man just immediately... I, like, I can make one. The old man immediately coughs loudly. Uh, like, unnaturally loudly. <clears throat> so! Bless you! Thank you, thank you, Recipitra. Looks at Valentine. Now, for a task for the wandering vipers. Uh... I am doing experiments here, uh, very interesting experiments, uh, secret experiments. Cannot tell you what they're for, but they're very valuable. Um, Is you kind of. Out about the experiments. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> so, you realize that this whole project has something to do with with imbuement imbuing something into the carcasses uh as the old man continues uh if you see these bright red sparkles above these bodies uh these are fire essences stabilized and processed that would grow into seeds now <laughs> he kind of coughs again there's been a mishap, you see, as I didn't properly prepare the field for the seeds, and once I planted them overnight, a bunch of elk ate them, and uh, <laughs> they obtained fire-like properties. Oh, I wonder if that was the fire that you saw on the way. <laughs> The old man looks nervously at you, Rosifitra. A fire, you say? Nah, nah. That, that couldn't be. That couldn't be. Yeah, yeah, that, that, was, a, that was a gigantic fire in the forest. <laughs> the man. The old man seems to be slightly sweating and a bit panicky. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, these buffoons that guard this place will not step a foot out of here to solve this problem. And I cannot go alone because they will not let me. So the task must befall you to eliminate these elks. And if anybody's good with a knife, cut them open and retreat the seeds back. Very violent. What are uh. those? And I find that they like uh, red disc thingies. Hmm? Like the, uh, like the red gems or whatever they were? Yeah, th those are seeds. What they do, I cannot disclose, for it's a secret. But it's, it's fire related. If you do what you want, can we have some? Roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> I want to believe. I want to believe. Uh, I'm not sure if you should believe in my ability You can guide us yourself now. People. I think that would be too obvious at this point. That's fair. <laughs> 
Ooh. Let's go. The man immediately proclaims, no, 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 it's out of the question, but I shall provide you with potions of fire resistance. An addition for each um, a seed retrieved, a small bounty for it. It'd be only fair. Ooh, I turned to Valentine. Maybe I can eat magma. I mean, those potions uh, do seem really helpful for what we're about to do. Are you? Yes. He all of a sudden looks confused. Are you heading towards the volcano by chance? No, we're gonna throw ourselves into a forest fire. What? <sighs> is that yeah. a? Is that a no? Kind of looks confused at you, Valentine. <laughs> Does, yes, we're going to the volcano. Uh, the wandering vipers are going to the volcano. The wandering vipers are going to the volcano. <laughs> I, I, yes, I, I, might I ask why? Uh, that's our business. Uh, I would say caution. It's quite a dangerous place. Quite a thing. Quite a few things. Lurk in those damn mountains. The volcano, we get it. Yeah, I was about to say, Uriel took it right out of my mouth. <laughs> um, and then looks at all of you oh, again. Oh, fire hot. So, for each L killed and the stone or the seed retrieved, I shall give you a handsome reward of 20 gold pieces. Each one of us. No. No. <laughs> That's no. kind of cheap. <laughs> well. I mean, it wouldn't be respective. 20 gold? That's... I that's, uh, hold on. Go. I want to try eating some magma. That's I half of all potion. the money I have. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> you know, okay. Those dudes loaded. We should do Let's it. Go. Okay. Uh, yeah. That seems like we are in a groove, right? And he's like right next to us in Valentine, like, he's loaded. We should do it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I, a cautionary advice. Uh, if the rumors are true and they possess fire properties, uh, it should be easy to track scorch marks in the wilderness. Wilderness. Um, Any other advice? Anything uh, to stabilize your rock ingredients or something? Excuse me, what? Ah! I did Anything to stabilize your rock ingredients or something like that? Confusion. Yeah, I. He kind of shakes his head, no. Mm. Ah, so I'll literally just cut them out. Nothing else helps. I... I... I don't know. Never got anything eaten like that before. Hmm, maybe you should try that more often. Have you eaten one before? <laughs> <laughs> the man all of a sudden looks at you as if you're like you said something extremely obvious that he hasn't done it himself. <laughs> he looks back yeah, at a bunch of high. he looks he looks at the bunch of uh, these stones above a table and just strokes his chin a bit. Why didn't I? <laughs> See, those are the questions. Hmm. Anyway, uh, how about we go collect those? Okay. So, I assume you're gonna try to look for. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Well. <laughs> so, um, 
how would you try to, I guess, uh, tackle the situation? Any any particular way? I mean, I can uh, ritual cast detect magic the entire time we're looking. Maybe that helps. So, I would like all of you to roll one of the following. Investigation, nature, or perception. You decide which one is the best for you. Detective Vesapitra is on the case. Detective Vesapitra. Let's go, I have eyes. Well, sadly my dice are not on the case. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm missing a specific thing. Logging. There you go. There you go. Give me a second. Where is it? I'm fogging. Good for you. Gonna be another bad day, huh? Okay. Give me a second. I'm just gonna make sure that this is properly done. I'm already back on two to four as a ratio for above ten rolls. Oh boy. Well. Give me a second. I'm just... There you go. Okay, so... Press the fit right, you roll... Da -da -da. And then you have... Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, you roll. Uh, you roll what roll was this, by the way? Uh, that was... Uh, what was nature, I think. Nature. I love how I have the highest modifier, and I'm tied for the worst result. <laughs> so! Plus seven. As you, <laughs> as you walk out into... Just literally out of the camp, you see there's a bunch of trees and tree lines in the forest. Basically, 300, 400 feet away. Walking there, immediately in the tree line, you're, you're like the first one to spot, immediately recognizing uh, scorch marks about six, five feet off the ground. Um, looking as if some, some antlers were basically smoldering or just extremely hot, who grinded upon the bark of the woods, of the trees. And essentially left black scorch marks. Um, that is very interesting. Eric, I think you have a bit to do if I'm looking in your chat. Not now, though. I told before. <laughs> but apparently, never listen. Um, but yeah! What a pay point as well, like. <laughs> I mean, you can always spend them later down the line. Anyway, um... Go going, going basically... Following the scorch marks on the bark deeper into the forest, it takes you about three minutes uh, before you basically stumble upon the small hill in the midst of the trees. Um... That has a simple elk for a first moment you fought. And then you see these blazing, um, combusting horns, antlers. Um, every once in a while flickering out and then igniting themselves again. Mm, has it noticed us yet? Uh, no, it seems to be, um, Standing like a statue on top of this hill. Um, you're about 40 feet away from it. Uh, facing its back. As it seems to occasionally just flick its head a bit. Uh, the head fully... Not head, just the antlers fully engulfed in flames. Okay, I, I have an important question, Eric. Mm -hmm. The sky self specifies... Um, that you must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. But technically, I can choose how to arrange my limbs. So how much do you allow me here? 
Uh, you want to literally become this elk? I want to become an elk, yes. Now, uh, question. Doesn't this guy's self work with humanoids? I thought so as well, but I don't think I've seen anything like that in the description. Make your choice between your clothing, armor, and weapons, and other belongs to a person of different until the play ends or until you break Yeah, you... Uh, you... You disguise, you disguise yourself as this person, so that would mean a person. But it's not this guy's person, it's this guy's self. <sighs> Well, it doesn't specify you can sp uh, change into uh, types of fur, or hooves, or any other animalistic appendages. Specifies mainly uh, items that the human wear wears. Mm. But if I can mimic hair, then I should also be able to mimic fur. <laughs> Uh oh god. Uh you know what? Roll Have me you in. Said I, feel, I, I feel like it works for, for slimes and not for humans. Roll me an intelligence check. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I want to believe. <laughs> So all of a sudden you see you see Valentine Valentine you you're probably most terrified. The horror cannot comprehend what you're witnessing as your uh, slimy companion a companion Recipitra all of a sudden gains four limbs, stands up within this blob, and all of a sudden begins growing fur, <laughs> and a, a few seconds pass. And it almost looks like a replica of an elk. Um, doesn't have the familiar uh, fiery antlers that this one has. Uh, also, looking at the fur, you can see that there is jelly under it. Uh... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that was my wisdom save. I'm decently perturbed by this. <laughs> oh, hi. Yes, yeah, so now you are, are you are an elk. Yes, uh I uh shiver for a moment as I'm still terrified of elks. <laughs> but we then uh walk over hesitantly to the other elk and uh, yeah, try to approach it. Give me a second. Uh I'm gonna make it roll investigation check. I can't see it. Those are the rules. Oh, uh, my DC is 15. Yeah. It, it just glares at you. And you look as it stares back at you. You see its eyes are engulfed in flame. Like there's like plumes of fire coming out. And he seems completely chill about it. He just kind of stares at you. Then stares back at what it was looking. Yeah, I, uh, I like eat a bit of grass and uh, here and there and slowly get close. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, how, how close do I get before it like seems uh, not by it? I would say five feet. Okay. You're basically um, on this hill with him. Nice, nice. I... Let me read something real quick. I would like to... Uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> Do a surprise grapple attack on it. A surprise? Prize grapple <laughs> attack on it. <laughs> no. And, uh, like, as I do it, I would like to uh, revert back to my normal form. And uh, since I can now grapple it with, like, my tentacles and stuff, I have advantage on a grapple check. Yeah. So, first of all, roll me to hit. Uh, do, I, do you want to hit or just ignore me? No, first of all, first of all, you hit, try to hit it. 
Because you might just... <laughs> you just might fail. I mean, normally if you're in a shed, it grapple starts an ability check. Oh, well. Yeah, grapples are strikes. Fair enough. Do a grapple check. And I guess I gotta contest it. Athletics check, yes. Athletics and you need to contest it. Acrobatics or athletics. <sighs> Okay. Sadly, I'm not very strong, but let's hope that the advantage makes up for. <laughs> Nine, come on, you got, you got this. Okay, come on, luck, don't leave me now. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fucking hilarious if you actually fail this. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So everybody else, Valentine, for a moment, are like, you know what? This is fucked up. I fucking dislike this. You see, Rosefitra just stroll up casually to this deer. The deer looks at it. Or elk looks away, and you see just the side of this elk opens up into a giant maw and just grabs the elk. <laughs> All of a sudden, the elk is in panic, shook and afraid, uh, trashing everywhere, but it is contained. Um, oh. What would you like to do, Recifitra? What do anybody would like to do? I was about to say, well, I kind of thought this would be an initiative roll now. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I thought anybody has a follow-up. In that case, if you don't, roll me initiative. <laughs> hey. this is... hey, I'm sorry, my headset died. What happened? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh initiative. Uh, I know. Yeah, Recifitra grappled the elk, and now everybody rolls initiative. Give me a second. Oh god. Grappling a fire elk. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Give me a second. Uh, okay. okay. I'm just gonna make sure that I got the right thing going for this. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, okay, give me a second. Just gonna do this. This, 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 this. This, this, this. This, this, this. And battle music. There you go. So. Let's see. Give me a second. So, Theron, you have 20. Um, uh, has 15, Valentine has 18, uh, Euro also has 15, and then Dania has 10. And let me just roll for my elk buddy here, who's definitely gonna be top. Nope, he's at the very bottom. Okay. Oh god. Um, <laughs> top of the round. Kill this guy! Feyren, you're up, what would you like to do? You, you see this fucking... Elk is getting um, tossed to the ground, screeching and screaming. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna cast compelled, <laughs> compelled duel on it. Okay. okay, does it need to succeed on anything? Uh, it's a wisdom save against um, my DC is 14. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, it failed and has disadvantage of it. Okay. Um, um, and it has, if it attempts to move th more than 30 feet away, it has to make another save. So I'm going to just stand 30 feet, 30 feet away. Okay, <laughs> that's fucking dirty. Okay. Uh, Valentine, you're up. What would you like to do? I'm just going to whip it. <laughs> Roll to hit, I guess. <laughs> I'm bullying this elk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did he ever do? I mean, he did use a seed of fire. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a hit. Roll damage. No. No, that's a, no, that's a. Do you roll the one the. What did I? That's he, weird. Okay, hold did, on. He did one d one. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> ah, when you do one d one, it's actually a one. Thinking emoji. Okay, six points. Okay, give me a second. So, 
you all of a sudden just just stroll up 10 feet to it, just fucking whip it in the fucking head. It recoils and screeches in pain. Oh no. <laughs> um And someone just chop off the head. Euro, oh speaking of which, you're up. Well, I mean, that's your job, I guess. I don't have any strength, I can't even hold up a weapon. So I will Eldritch Blast it. <laughs> Roll the <to> hit. <laughs> he's already <laughs> dead. <laughs> Wait, he's I already have dead. a chopping weapon that's not... That, I mean, I could use my dagger, but it would be gruesome. <laughs> Hey, wait, how was, uh... Uh, uh, exclamation point, R, D, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Uh... Never mind. He had okay. a better, he had a better modifier than zero, didn't you? Oh, oh, right, right. Plus five. It's a nine, so I, I don't Oh, think God, I yeah, it, right? you don't get it at all. Uh, Reset Petra, you're up. I'm still, I'm still a bit uh, lightheaded because I was. Uh, I don't know what happened to me last time, you know. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, do you allow me to use a hand while I'm grasping the thing? You don't have any hands. I mean, I could hold it with a tentacle and my one hand and use the other. I know, I know. This, this doesn't apply to you because you don't have limbs. <laughs> you're just. Okay, um, in that case, I have my hands full, quite literally. Uh -huh. So, I suppose I will take a dodge action uh, whilst they're grappling it, and just uh, be careful that it doesn't uh, hit me with the tools while I am holding it. Dodge action? Yes. Dodge action. Uh, true, true, yeah. We have yeah. disadvantage, and yeah. I have a bunch of deck bits. Wait, yeah. so it's double disadvantage to attack, Cindy. Okay, uh. yeah, yeah, it takes it. <laughs> uh, then, yeah, you're up. Uh, <laughs> the only damage that the self suffer was a whip to the head by Valentine. Can I use hold person on an elk? No, oh, you need God. old creature. You need her, you need her old creature for that. It's poor elk. Old person is legit just for a person. Yep. It, it mm. needs humanoids. The funny thing is you also couldn't use it to hold me because I'm an ooze. Uh, oh, oh, really? Bad guys here. <laughs> oh, my okay. God. Are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me think, because now I gotta think what I'm gonna do. So what are you going to do, Dinia? So... Wait. Hold on, I'm thinking. I was going to create a bonfire, but then I remember they're already flat fire, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> that fine. Mm -hmm. And Warlock without Eldritch Blast. Ay ay ay. Okay, I want to cast Cause Fear, see if I can maybe spook him. He's, <laughs> he's already spooked, he's being grappled up. Like, but are you... there, isn't there more than one? There's only one! Oh really? I thought there was more than one. There's only one. one egg that is being grappled by me, compared to a duel by Faerun, and being whipped and uh, blasted. Okay, are you... are you... are you gonna... Um, okay, I have a dagger. We can at least end its suffering. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> okay, so cause fear, right, for this thing? Dania? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it fails. So now it is grappled. Uh, disadvantage on uh, on attacks because compelled duel and also do terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It now to find uh, Peyron while running away while it can't do either because it's grappled. <laughs> okay. First of all, let, it's it's now the deer's turn. So let's see what the deer is gonna do. It's gonna let's see if it's gonna be no longer frightened. Nope, it's still frightened. Ah, uh, 
It's gonna try to bite you. It can't do multi attacks because it doesn't have the fucking hoops anymore. It's just gonna uh, bite. And it's at a disadvantage. Yes. As it as it opens up its mouth, there's just a plume of flame that just jets out before it just tries to bite you. So, let's see. It's gonna bite you once. Wait, wait. I didn't roll the disadvantage. Give me a second. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> It just it just tries to bite you, but you just flink your body slightly and just entirely misses. That's the end of the elk. <laughs> it groans in pain. <laughs> uh top of the round. Uh Feyren, what would you like to do? Um Okay, I think it's the time has come to 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 put put him out of his misery. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame on him. So, deck save, uh, DC 14. I think it has disadvantage on deck save since it's grappled. Oh, yeah, he does. Give me a second, thanks. Well, here's the thing. What happens with the grappler? I don't think I know. Let's see. So, deck save. With disadvantage. Okay, that's a 19 and a. Uh... Woo! 19! Oh, Some... no. Somehow, no. some way! In, in, in fact, it doesn't have disadvantage, apparently. Oh, well, pain. whatever the case is, it just fucking swings its head away and just... <laughs> doesn't connect. I, I just... Oh, God. It groans. It is angry. Uh, Valentine, you're a... All right, all right. Okay, so I get out my my dagger. I also have a dagger. Isn't it my and turn I'm, now? No. I'm going to attempt Wait. to stab it, stab it into the heart. Because it is being it is being grappled, right? Yeah, you can have you have advantage on it. Okay, I'm going to attempt to use my dagger uh, to simply gouge at the throat of the elk. Oh god. Uh, uh roll to hit with advantage. I think it was lawyer, but uh, technically you would have advantage. Then I will. Otherwise, that's okay. I'm just saying the condition is left as not blank I think he hits regardless, no? Uh, Wait. no. I mean, maybe not. Yeah. Uh. No. <laughs> For some fucking reason, the elf doesn't want to get its throat slit. Is it fucking... Despite a, a grappled elk, it's still an elk. You can't really command it to just sit patiently. <laughs> um, Should have whipped it again. Wow. Yuril, you're up. What would you like to do? Uh, I. Uh... Wait, let me see what I have. Uh, I promise that I'll quite literally use this while I grab it because uh, I don't have any spells without somatic components and I don't have any hands, right? <laughs> I, 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 I could electroshock it, but I would also electroshock where it's a fitra. Depends how you do it. Thunderclap. I mean, I am next Those to cheeks. It. Oh god. <laughs> thunderclap would probably also get me. It's most definitely gonna get you seeing that you're on top of them. <laughs> uh, I uh, have a dagger, but I'm not good with it. I have no strength. That whole pride about the Eldritch Blast just faded away immediately. I mean, yeah, we were complaining! I, I didn't do anything, you just... Anyway, Eldritch Blast then, fuck R it. Roll to hit. <laughs> uh, 20 plus 5 and F, yeah. 5. You're just not, you're just not gonna roll. Oh my <laughs> fuck. Fucking hell, what is going on? Just roll me a D100 <laughs> seeing where it hits. Because it, it can't just sit with <laughs> a fit accidentally. The elk is going absolutely sicko mode. He does not want to die. Yeah, you just, you just fucking, you, you think it's gonna just hit him in the head, but then it just like, 
bends its head away from the shot and you miss again. It's just one mil. There's five of you. Dianne, what would you... Wait, no, Recifitra. Recifitra, what would you like to do? You're still... Uh... Imagine not having Thunderclap. I mean, I still don't have any ring hands, so I can't cast anything and also can't do any weapon attacks because weapons also need hands. Okay. So I will just continue my uh, attack <laughs> to attack another dodge action. Oh what my god. What component is S again? It's speech, right? Huh? No, F, uh, V is. Oh my god. Uh, speech. V is a vocal for speech, S is a matic for hands, and M is material for components. Oh my god, okay, okay. Um, Diania, what would you like to do? <laughs> All of yours. Okay, I'm thinking of something stupid. Give ah. me one sec. Okay. <laughs> Could use Witch Bolt ne next time, but I don't know how well I will hit that one. Oh my god. It's no one you came with enough taking down. I have no strength! I can't do that! And everything I do could hit you! <laughs> oh. I might this... need to look at how much weight can Unseen Servant. Oh. Nothing, no, nothing much. Unseen servant isn't for Not that. 15 pounds, yeah. which is, which would be not even uh, a quarter the size of these antlers. I guess I'll just try to use my, where is it, my sickle? Okay. That hasn't gotten any use yet. <laughs> okay, roll to hit against, against this grappled Beard. The absolute demolished hell. It's it's basically destroyed in every single aspect except physical. <laughs> Why is it fighting back then? It wants to live Because it's a scared animal. <laughs> Oh wait, it still worked. And oh wait. Yeah, I don't think that you did it properly. Yeah, I didn't. Um... Oh! Go. Let's go! Okay, roll damage. Let's go. <laughs> it's 1d4 plus 1. God. Oh, oh my god. God. No. <laughs> you think you think you just walk up and you do like a like a you know neck cut just immediately and you you feel like you sink something in and you pull it and you realize you sunk and you like torn off like a lot of fur and you look at the skin there's like a graze but there's not much blood uh, you do need to roll another crit roll, that's what was a crit. Huh? Uh, oh, never mind. I, I'm stupid. It was... Yeah, never mind. Anyway, Alex's turn, let's see. Wait, does D&D 5e not do crits? It does do crits. Uh, it does, but it's not a net 20. It is only 20 because of the modifiers. What? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, nat 20, you have two types. Either you double the dice. Uh, oh, no, or, like yeah, yeah, either you double the dice or you basically, whatever the result of the damage is, you double it. And I do the doubling. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, so it did four damage. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, give me. Then... Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it did four damage. Um, uh, let's see. Will the elk. <laughs> the elk is petrified. Recipitra, the elk is gonna bite you again with his. Flaming breath. Uh, give me a second. I need to roll this advantage because he's still terrified by everything that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can kill him, but none of you can kill him either. <laughs> the internal cycle. I just imagine that both the egg and the party were all so surprised by that the people are suddenly grappling and that no one is really prepared for the situation. You're like, 
this is this is the best quick time like for 15 seconds you're basically like <laughs> trying to hit it then it's like oh <laughs> anyway okay. top of the round Feyren, you're up. What would you like to do? Okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm putting an end to this. <laughs> I'm putting an end to this madness. I'm walking up. Um, I tell Recipitra, once I hit the elk, let go of it. Um, I'm going to use my Channel Divinity Guided Strike. So that's a plus 10 to the roll. <laughs> and then I'm going to Booming Blade it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Look. This is... See, it was necessary. I don't know why, but I just imagined the wine boom as you said it. <laughs> Perish. Look, it was absolutely necessary for us to torture this elk in this way. Um, this is... This poor egg got graphic compared to a duo, terrified, blood so, flickered, and uh, then booming bladed like across the yard. Yeah. So that's... That's nine damage, and rest picture. If you release him, he's if he moves, he gets moving bladed and takes more damage. Uh, so I guess. Why? Why would he move? Because he's afraid. He's gonna try run away, and then he's just gonna get struck by lightning, and then yeah. That no. Compel duel. <laughs> compel. Yeah. Well, compel duel means that he's he he can't move further than thirty feet away from me. Why would he run away if he is compelled to duel you and you're in melee range? Okay. Do animals understand the concept of dueling? No, of but under effects of a spell, they do. I, I mean, okay, I mean okay. to be fair, That's all... if, any an if, if any animal would understand a duel, then I guess it would be Alex, right? True. Okay, <laughs> fine. I, I will... I could just use a spell slot to divine smite him now that I've hit him. Should I smite him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you could. Uh... You could. <laughs> you know. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Two d eight. Okay. An extra ten damage. Does that kill him? <laughs> no, it does not kill him. He's you, not dead. You you basically see um. As you carve into his neck, there's a sudden blood spill. I just on top of the. No, it's, it's the bonking stick. It's a quarter star. I know the bonking happens, but also your smite no. extends oh. the cut from the sickle, and now there's just a massive gash of red dripping through the fur no. above the neck. It is still very much alive, glaring its fiery eyes at you, Farin. Um, Valentine. What would you like to do? <laughs> I'm just gonna whip. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> whip and set off. Roll to hit. Damage, I'm sorry. Yeah, damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the face again. You just, you know, you just whip it again, and if that doesn't kill it, I'm going to use my action surge, and I'm going to whip it again. No, 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 it's dead. Uh, I okay, just asked so how I you want to, how you want to finish it. How do you want to do it? I just, I just very um, unenthusiastically go for a random body shot and uh, hope that it falls over dead. <laughs> you just. He whipped his neck so hard that he couldn't breathe anymore. And he was like, <laughs> and then he fell. Oh. Whip the neck so hard that they can't extend and his head flies off. Oh God, it was just an animal. <laughs> I I would say I would say basically go for its leg. You fucking break one of the knees, and then all of a sudden the elf just plops on the ground and basically bashes his head in into the ground. Bruh. <laughs> we need blood. Anyway, with that being said and done, um, combat is over. In front of you, there is a dead uh, elk. Uh, its fiery eyes, the fiery antlers extinguished immediately after death. Um, there is simply no way that meat is still edible. I will find out. I mean, maybe also you. Also, I used to uh, hunt deer like this all the time. You wouldn't believe how good it worked. I never uh, feel it coming. 
and I take out a dagger and start uh, cutting the thing up and looking for the gem. Oh, you're gonna go uh. consume the meat? Yeah. Would radiant damage, like, sterilize the meat and make it safe to eat? Now, it's not about being safe. <laughs> the, 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 it was, you know, you don't, you don't eat the animal after it's been in, like, extreme fear. It ruins the meat. Wait, it does? Yeah. Yeah, that's why that's why if you if you shoot a deer with an arrow while you're hunting and it runs away, you'll it, it can only run a certain distance before the meat is completely ruined. Oh. Uh... Anyway, um So you're gonna oh, try yeah, the I meat, have right? Have you're gonna try the meat, I, right? I, I, I start cutting it up looking for the drum and I uh Roll me the, Roll me a nature check and investigation check. Everybody Bobby else. Red to turns red and has a fire resistance. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> okay, the funny thing is they are both exactly the same for me. So I yeah, think so. The first one will be nature. Also, anybody else want to do anything? No. Oh, come on. So, random idea. What would happen? If, so, what's stopping us from eating one of these seeds? Uh, nothing. I guess nothing. Anyway, uh, okay, then I guess I will help Resifitra and roll nature for the end, you know. Okay. Okay, so should I then roll the nature with advantage? Uh, uh, I'm just rolling nature right now. Okay. Um. What do you want to roll with advantage again? I don't care, to be honest. Alright. What? You can you can roll with advantage if she allows you. Yeah, don't fuck it up. Go roll with advantage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Uh so can I look myself? Can I look myself if I see there is a Fitra struggle being, you know, like not Reci following? Rest the Fitra does not struggle. So, uh, oh. while carving up the thing, uh, Reci Fitra, you find something very peculiar about the meat. The meat is not scalded, it's not burned, but also uh, it is tampered in some sort of way. It is smoky, medium rare, and a lot more hot than you assume a normal animal would be like. Um, there's like extreme heat coming from its organs. And somewhere in its stomach you do find just a glowing red dot. That few moments after you pull out this little bead, this almost like a stone of ruby that has something shining at the very center of it. Ooh. Um, does the meat change when I pull it out? Nope. Mm, can I do like an arcana check or something? Sure, roll me an arcana check. Roll me an arcana. Oh yeah, this one's for the meat. Uh, you realize that the meat has somehow been affected by this. Well, of course, also the antlers, the, the flaming eyes, the fire coming from the mouth also is kind of dead giveaway that it's been affected. Are the antlers still on fire? Or? Nope, they have been extinguished ever since. They're basically charcoal uh, black, but uh, they don't seem to be damaged in any way. By the fire. Now that I uh, understand that it's been affected by the gem, I would like to look at the gem if I may. Okay. Like another kind of check. Sure. Or... Anybody else? Anything? I They're still on fire. The elk. The elk's flames died off moments after it died. Would sense. it be hard for me to cut the antler off and keep it? Uh, maybe with some work, you can just 
pull it off or just I'll help her get it off. Okay, okay. roll me a spray. So roll me a spring check with advantage, any of you, Valentine or Dania. Um, ooh, the duality of man. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. uh, Do I even need the roll? Uh, He's just so, going to be like, yeah. So Valentine, basically you try to go for the antlers, but what you basically do is you just basically rip the entire head off. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, you realize that the antlers, both of them, are very, very strongly attached to the skull of it. And looking at the skull past the fur, you see the skull itself is blackened. You realize when you look at the bones that are protruding from the neck, they're all char black. But doesn't seem to be any way... Uh, I guess damaged. Uh, I'll tell you what, Dania. I used to clean trophies back in my old hunting days. I'll get this cleaned up for you. Aw, oh, thank you. Mm -mm. So oh, until then, I guess, I guess I'm just dragging, dragging around, around an elk head. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Technically, Valentine, you could base this. This head is big enough that if you clear it out, you can put this head on top of your helmet. It would fit snugly inside. But it's Dania's. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, uh, dude, I had two sides that one, that one. <laughs> Ooh. My, uh, I can't actually get the 16 since I don't um, have guidance on it since it's important to me. From, from what Theo gave you, that's the best thing you can lead off. This... You don't know the purpose of the gem, you don't know how it's made, but you know that this, upon consumption, uh, affected the cons basically the person, the individual or the entity that consumed it. Seeing elk possessing properties unnatural to normal elk and not seeing any negative effects of it, you assume that this is some sort of enhanceability type spell maybe locked inside of it i want to carefully taste it without swallowing it okay while casting an identify spell as a ritual okay <laughs> follow us i need to see where the gems <laughs> the gem swirls inside of Pitra's body so 10 minutes anything else you wish to do on the hill because it's been it's been like six minutes since you set off from Tio's tent. It was that quick. Uh, I guess, uh, with like a half full mouth, I'm like, you guys see any other things like this around? I mean, we could try to find one. Yeah, I guess if Resurrection detects magic, detect magic, so. What am I trying to say? You know what I mean. We can hunt one for, for ourselves, you know? Like... Maybe. No. You do remember that we are tasked with bringing back as many as possible. <laughs> oh, right! Well, you wouldn't notice if we, like, keep one, right? But we were given a contract to... You were told to deliver him one, right? Well, he said for each individual sure one. Said, yeah, I'm pretty sure he said he would pay for every single one we find. Yeah, and he wants to pay 20 gold per. There's no way this isn't more valuable than that. That is why I'm having a test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll me... So here's up. my thought. Hmm? Here's my thought, and this might be selfish of me but if i could take one of those uh, flint one of those little hot little marbles valentine has only been partially been paying attention to the details of what this item is i may be able to load it into the into a whip tip yo that is theoretically possible um, but yeah, 10 minutes uh, of waiting, anything specific, if not 10 minutes pass. 
Anybody want to try the meat? <laughs> no! Ew! I mean, uh, once I'm done identifying, we can talk about it. Uh, in that case, roll me, roll me an intelligent saving throw. <laughs> Time to mess up another check that I have I, a humongous modifier on. <laughs> let's let's hope not. Fuck! 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 Uh, I'm so upset. The spot literally hates me. There's no uh, explanation. For a second. <sighs> you know, you know when you're like grabbing for something, looking for something, and you're almost there. You can see what you're looking for but then all of a sudden something awful happens a sudden realization that you've been caught in the trap um as soon as you almost get to understand the nature of the stone it immediately just shatters into six pieces and the uh, little flame inside of it dies. Hmm. Recifitra, did you break I didn't the thing? Need it. <laughs> what happened? Did the slime digest it? Oh no, it doesn't seem very stable. Might not be a good idea to experiment on it if it's just unstable. Damn, there goes my idea of loading it into a spike whip. But yeah, now you lost the stone. Well, I don't quite feel like wrestling with another elk for another one. Really? I, th I, I feel want like another one. It's the job we got given. I, don't, I think we could take take one. I'll have to go about it a lot smarter next time. Does Do any of us have a bow and arrow? No! I have a bow. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. Rest of the feature has a bow. <laughs> I... I honestly just thought that you guys would be able to kill it a lot quicker if I keep it <laughs> I regret learning how to use a whip and not like a big axe. <laughs> <laughs> the duality of Valentine. God fucking damn. It's like, whips are cool, but god damn, I don't want those D12s. Um, anyway, if you're gonna look for another elf in this section of the woods, roll me perception check, everybody. No, my eyes. My ass was hurting, so I lied, lied down for a minute. You're what? 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 My ass. I don't see shit. <laughs> you want one perception, right? Yes, 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 yes. Perception, my good sir. Oh, I'm not blind. Let's go. And let's see if DNA pops up. I think off. at least. Ooh! Oh, Dear Nia, you, in, in the calm way of this vicinity, uh, standing over the dead body of this elk, all of a sudden you hear a very faint, a very distant, but authentic elk's roar. Somewhere a few hundred feet away, fur into the woods, um, you don't know if it's a fire elk, or it's a normal elk, but it's an elk nonetheless. How would you like to proceed? I point to where I heard it, and I said, well, don't know what kind, but there's more elks in that way. I hate elks, let's go. <laughs> I hate elks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so how are you going to do this? Are you gonna, nature. Are you going to go stealthily, or are you going to just say, you know, walk it? I just assume we're just gonna go, go, go all in. I don't. Uh. Well, anyone that isn't going stealthily, that's a bit what Charles went. Is like, have you ever tried to hunt an animal before? No. Yes. This is not how it works. You have to be silent. Oh. Or you have to be a deer yourself. And she just kind of looks at you guys. Can you be a deer? No. 
I cannot. Uh, I, I could try to walk on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might okay. help. If you do it silently. So... What's the verdict? Are you gonna go silently, or...? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, everybody, we can try creepings funny. and peepings. Everybody roll me stealth checks. Those in armor with disadvantage, because, you know, armor, kind of heavy. This half, this half I'm actually, um, I'm actually just gonna stand where I am. <laughs> you're gonna stay there. <laughs> so, so your Valentine is just fuck behind. It's okay, you know what? Fuck it, you go. Does, does a breastplate give disadvantage, or is it... Because uh, it's like, at a certain point, right? Give me a second. I'm wearing chainmail, so... Give me a second. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Chainmail, uh... Chainmail. Ringmail, all disadvantage. Yeah, breastplate also is disadvantage. We're going stealth, right? Stealth. Uh, uh, okay. I also have disadvantage with my skin. <laughs> Call me Gordon Lightfoot because I'm creeping around your back stair. Uh, that's a five. Wait. Oh my god. No, that's a four. Jesus Christ. So, um. Uh, Recifitra and Dania, you take the lead, go about 300 feet, and you see two, uh, Elks, as before, uh, one of their antlers is engulfed in flames, so you know that one is legit. While the other one, their hoofs seem to be on fire. Uh, both are basically drinking from this uh, small pond. Uh, and interesting enough, when the one with the antlers drinks, every time it touches the water, it's just small misty foam um, kind of emerge from the pond and dissipates moments after uh, the elk rings. Uh, once again, uh, you have both uh, both of them are looking ahead of you. You are both behind their backs. But You hear clank, clank, clank from Faerun. As all of a sudden, Sorry. both the elks just casually turn to look at the noise and just st stares down at all of you. <laughs> Except for Valentine. Uh, Valentine is like 300 feet away. <laughs> so, two elk, uh, both fire. Uh, staring at all of you. Uh, what would you like to do? God damn it, Byron. I'm sorry. Oh. <sighs> well, everyone get ready to shoot him. I got a bucket of water, baby. We could just put them out. <laughs> oh, that's smart. <laughs> so um... So yeah, decisions, decisions. You're about 15 feet away from these two elk. They're chilling. They're staring at you. Um, uh, okay, Aaron, get ready to charge at them. Okay, wait, uh, I'm gonna uh, recast. Pioneer, get, get ready to uh, blast them, okay? We okay. all need to do okay. it together. Okay, I cast Thunderous Smite, so that's my next hit's gonna... Bonk them. A thunderous to... smite? Wait a minute. Yeah. That's not how paladins work. You no, put you... next melee hit plus two d six thunder damage and save or push ten foot bonus action. Isn't isn't a thunder? Oh yeah, thunder smite is a difference. Yeah. No. Yeah, the yeah, spell, the smite spell, spell and the smite action are different. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, Rest of fish ball boy two. I would like to ready a light crossbow attack. Okay. Uh, Danny, what about you? Uh, I'm so, are, so they're not hostile yet, right? Nope, they're just staring at you intently. They're about... Okay, okay, okay. 
-hmm. Since they are not hostile yet, I would like to use friends. It says one creature currently not hostile. When the spell ends, creature becomes oh, hostile. Let me. Oh boy. Let me see if it lets me see what. Really annoys me that this software doesn't just let me see what the spell does on the page. Okay, you have advanced strong charisma checks directly at one creature of your choice that is in hostile towards you. When the spell ends, the creature realizes that you use magic influence its mood and becomes hostile towards you. Um, yeah, it's it's one minute concentration, so. You're gonna, you're gonna cast friends? Yeah. Okay, and which one? The one with the flaming uh, head or the one with the flaming feet? Flaming head. I feel like that's more um, readily dangerous. <laughs> okay. So, you cast friends. You can roll advantage on charisma checks against it. So... What would you like to do as, you know, one of them all of a sudden just shakes its head a bit, staring at you, and now receive, and I receive the trap. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so, Farron is confused, so, so we're not fighting? No, one I of the... D <laughs> One of the one of the elks, the one with the flaming head, who were staring at you, got basically hit by friends. It's not yeah, charmed yeah. yet. Oh, yeah, we're just like in character, he is confused. Is. Yeah, it's it seems to be friendly to towards Dania, um, but uh, um, yeah. Um, the other elk looks confused at the elk that you kind of persuaded Dania. And, uh, what would you like to do, everybody? Um... So I guess we can, um, ambush it while it's trusting oh, no. Dianea? Yes, I... Is, was that I the plan? Well... I kind of said that Dianea, like, are we... That was my plan. Oh, okay, so I... I'm gonna run in now. Is that the plan? Shouldn't... There's, there's two... It shouldn't attack right now. There's two elks, okay. you know. There's okay. So I, you want me to charge in now? <laughs> Is that the plan? I am. I'm so confused what you're doing. You confused uh, one I of the elk. I thought that Pioneer would uh, like try to get back closer to us. <laughs> eh. I am so confused. So let me <laughs> let me recount the situation. And you're the DM. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> because because you because you nobody's talking. Everybody's just saying half sentences and staying quiet for half a minute. Okay. So what you decided to do was th there are two elks, one with a flaming head and one with flaming hooves. Yeah, I know that. I know. Yeah. That. Um, then he had charmed the one with the flaming head, so now they're kind of friends. But it's not a charm effect. Uh, the other elk is still not affected by anything. Yes, what would you I like thought that Dianea would use friends to get the elk closer to us. That is what I just said. Yeah, the, one of the elk is is uh, is docile now. Yes. The one with the flaming antlers is docile now. Yes. Yeah, so, so I thought that she would use that to get it to come towards us so we can then ambush it. What, can I command uh, it? I just thought it meant it wasn't hostile towards me. It wasn't hostile towards you. Just you. you have adv I, so you have advantage to persuade uh, it. Do you roll persuasion if you're trying to convince an, an elk? Or is it... It's, it, it would be animal handling, which I think would still be... Yeah, um, with charisma. advantage. Yeah, with advantage. Uh, okay. Animal handling is this one. Yeah, okay, was... I will try to apple my new friend. I have put your okay. And I will roll. I will roll charisma, or no animal handling, right? Okay. Or wait. Yes. I guess technically yes. you could use an animal handling charisma check here if you want to. Oh 
My charisma is plus five, so I'm going to try to offer it an apple so that even after my friend's spell ends, maybe it'll just let me put a rope around its neck and just take it back with us. Okay. <laughs> that would be a lot easier. Okay. Uh, it takes the apple, eats it. Uh, once it opens its mouth, there's an intense surge of heat coming, like a fucking furnace. Uh, but it eats the apple nonetheless. The other elk just starts wandering away from the rest of you. Okay. Okay. So now, some uh, since I'm not there, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing this from farther away, so I can't really help. Somebody else needs to rope that elk. I mean, are we sure that we want to rope it? I feel like with a burning uh, ant light, we'll be not, it will not be that hard to free itself. I feel like we should just use the opportunity and strike it down. Because it doesn't like, it it does rope, seem it like the safe way of doing things. So, so yeah, basically, you have the 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 elk with the with just the burning antlers staying with you, while the other one just casually leaves away from you. So yeah, I I say we attack the one close to us. I feel like like if we try to go for both of them, we will. Uh... We will just lose out, so we should just get this one as fast as possible, and then maybe try to find the other one again. Okay, I'm down for that. That seems okay. reasonable to me. Then okay. I will uh, use my reddit action and shoot it. Wait, do you want me to like run in first to get the aggro? I mean, they are both reddit actions, right? Basically, happen okay, at the cool. same time before combat starts. Okay, okay. So, um, are you gonna just uh, massacre the elk that you befriended? Yes. Don't say are we, like are that. We gonna, are we just gonna coup de gras the uh, the friendly elk? <laughs> Apparently so. So everybody roll hits. Who's gonna hit with what? Uh, uh, did you give us advantage on this? Uh, uh, yes, I would. Okay. I don't want to try to hit any one of you because I, my rolls are not good this game, you know. Okay. Uh, so what, what, what is my to hit? You should, you should get a modifier in there as well. Yeah, 16. Okay, that's a hit. That's a hit. So there's a Fitra and Farron hits. Anybody else wants to do anything? Nope. I think Dianaya also. Really I'm distracting it with Apple. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, Valentine, it because dies. he's kind of an asshole, uh, gets it in his head. Can I hit him with a dart from this distance? So I'm gonna throw a dart. <laughs> roll me with the, roll me just a straight roll. Just a straight Wait, roll. Aren't you like 300 feet away? Oh my god. <laughs> roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh. <laughs> so what happens is. A uh, Recifitra hits him in the butt with the bow in the neck, then uh Farin in the side, and then the animal all of a sudden becomes furious, and then you just all of a sudden just from the distance you hear a whoop and just oh. there's a dart in the middle of its uh between its eyes as all of a sudden just collapses <laughs> dead on uh, the he ground. Has, yeah, he has to make a strip yeah, he gets not prone. It's dead. Oh, <laughs> Valentine, bullseye <laughs> from 300 fucking feet. How do even throw a dart that far? Motherfucker, use medieval ma maps of like winging it. Ah, uh, you curve it upwards. Yeah. Ah, I see. What? I, I yell. I yell down to the party. Did it hit? Did I get him? Good shot. Holy shit! Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I come running excitedly down to see my handiwork. Yeah, there's literally a single bolt above the nose between the eyes. 
Just, okay, just. So we can do... Hell yes. We, we can oh, it's take dead. Thing out yeah, it's dead. It fucking off. killed. We, we, we can, we can, uh, like, skin and uh, stop this thing later. First, we should try and catch up to the other one before it gets away. Speaking of, what happened to the other one? It walked away. It walked oh, away like I 20, know. half a minute ago. Yeah, well, I thought it was. It was like, fuck the process shit, of I'm walking on. away when we attacked. Uh, it doesn't seem to give a shit, also. Uh, you can s easily track it because it leaves uh, Scorch Earth. Uh, just Scorch Earth where it goes. Right, burning books. Mm -hmm. But the Cathedra is like. Might as well, and points a light crossbow at it. Are you gonna shoot? It's it's about like ninety feet away from you. It's just wandered off. Um, I start running after it and uh, shoot it while I'm running after it. So oh my god! Forty feet movement and then shoot it. Oh, <laughs> you can be. So oh my god! <laughs> Without a fucking warning. Um, roll yeah, to we're just, hit. Like, and so he sprints off. Yeah, you all just like you know, like ooh, that's pretty cool. And all of a sudden, you see your receptor draws a crossbow, and starts running. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Uh, I, I call out the receptor. Wait, wait, wait! Receptor, receptor. What? Okay, so make sure you see, you see, and I point. I walk over to the elk that uh, is downed right here, and I point to the little spot, like right under its armpit. Make sure you shoot him there. I will give my best, and I continue running. <laughs> okay, roll, okay to, so. roll to hit. <laughs> the, the ball fucking flies by. The elf who stares around like it noticed something and just continues to walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have us do anything? Uh, I, I'm also it? running again. <laughs> I'm so, I'm very confused. Basically, like she starts just sprinting away, like, huh? I don't, I don't want rest of it to fight it alone. Okay. She didn't even say anything, she just like sprint. Uh, yeah. you're, you're all, you can all see me, eh? You can see me shooting. Yeah. Okay, uh. I will. I'll be moving blade, so. Oh my god. I don't. I will keep the carcass of that one other thing safe, so. <laughs> Wait. No, that's. that. I, you forgot the deal. I don't think you're in range, maybe. Like, if we're 90 feet away, you need a dash action to Yeah, like, yeah, oh, also, also. So, so here's the thing. Uh, as Theron, you start to charge it, the elk starts to book it. It just runs away, <laughs> away from you. Wait, how? F oh, no, I don't have any. What's... Wait, what level is this? Am I? Level is what do you mean for this? No, oh no! This is the first level slot. I can't. I've run. I have no more slots. I can't compel duel him. Pain. Yeah. How, how fast is it? Uh, it it basically books away. Like Faren, Faren ghosts for him and passes by you, and then Elk looks back at all of you and just fucking books it away from you. Uh, I don't think we're are gonna catch on to it. Faren, you think you're gonna? If you want, hoping. That it will stop, chase as much as you want. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Just the chaser. <laughs> you, you, are you're all seeing Fainer just basically quarter staff out, fucking starts bolting at it. <laughs> I, I, I also want to run after it. I'm only thirty feet behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Like, like he, he was he was thirty feet away when it started running. Okay, was, uh, okay. I I have a simple question for Valentine and Dionia. You see your companions chasing after an elk, running away into the woods, <laughs> leaving you to already dead per, uh, elk. Are you gonna go after those two, or are you gonna stay with the body? I'm gonna okay. stay with the currently downed elk. I don't know about Dionia. Uh, I, me too. Also, wouldn't it be better to just stay? Like, if we, like, walk off, we could, like, just get lost. 
I don't know if I want to go walk like running into the wild. Okay. Yeah, uh, exactly. Recipitra, Farron, one of you roll me d10 while the rest of you stay. <laughs> no. It's okay. It's not. It's not a, an ability roll. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, we should catch up eventually, considering that we can't lose it at all. True. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wait, did the Raxus go? Where did he go? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna run off to the bathroom really quick, man. Oh, a free! Oh, Wait, joy! Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, what happens? <laughs> What Only fuck? good things, I'm sure. Um. Okay, so Baron and Recipitor runs off after this elk, while the rest of you stays. Uh, Recipitor and Baron, roll me a, just a perception check as you're chasing down an elk that you're not catching up to. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think I like animals that only run very fast for a short time so in theory we should uh in time catch up if, when once the time oh goes. god um <laughs> we're about so... to get ambushed by like the elk mafia <laughs> <laughs> the elk mafia. Uh, okay give me a second so watch them chase us all the way back <laughs> uh, so here's here's the interesting thing give me a second um uh... You are basically going after just 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 fucking going. And uh <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, but fucking chasing after the elk. Uh as all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, kinda just uh fully I guess just fully, fully perplexed, just chasing down this fucking beast. Um, you hear a sudden whistle of an arrow. Let's see if it hits anybody interesting. Uh, none of you. As all of a sudden, in front of you, Faron, because you were the first one to head. Uh, yeah. All of a sudden, five feet in front of you, just fucking... To immediate right of you, an arrow lands and sticks to the ground firmly. What would you like um, to do? I raise my shield and, you know, kind of peek and see, try and see what's you shot it. You see no one. Um, how far behind me is Resipetra? Res uh, yeah. Yeah, she she's behind you. You see, you see all of a sudden just a, a sudden sink of an arrow, and uh, and uh, yeah, there's 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 no one around. You know. I, uh, hmm. Wait, I'm gonna cast down with Turgy and make my voice really loud and just shout. Um, there's people in here shooting arrows at us. Please help. <laughs> No, it's so that the, people that we left behind the, can hear that's us. That's the most See? intimidating thing I've ever heard. There is a, a pause. Technically, you would hear this, all three of you. And from Recifitra's... Uh, okay, first of all, Denia, Valentine, you you hear soft whispers of Faerun through the forest that they're getting shot on by arrows. Hell. <laughs> Wait, so I hear a call for help? Yeah, soft. <laughs> Baron's call. <laughs> Even with Falvatagi, it's that quiet. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're like, hell, please. <laughs> He's screaming. Uh, is... I turn okay, to Nia and I and I gesture towards where I heard it. Shall we? Well, should I? Oh, stay good. Back you heard then? that too. Okay. okay. Good. Okay, uh, so, um, <laughs> in the meanwhile, uh, 
Recipitra and uh, and uh, um, Theron, you hear a chuckle from one of the trees as a figure emerges from it. <laughs> We're By the way, call, while this I? is occurring, while this is occurring, DNA and I are uh, on our way. We are in full sprint. Okay. Uh, as there's a chuckle, uh, as you see the satyr emerges from one of the trees, wielding this metallic uh, scepter. But it seems to be with these two floating things stuck to it. As it looks at Wait, both... again if you need me too, okay? As it stares bo at both of you, <laughs> Recifitra and Fair, and says... Oh, hush, boy. You won't leave these weeds alive. I I'm alive. Uh... Recipitra. Oh, how and far Farron, am I? About three minutes away. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, well, I'm running. Farron and Recipitra. Please roll me initiative. Uh. As he says that, can I, uh, like, also shoot an arrow in front of his feet? Like, not as a combat action, before the roll initiative. Okay, but sure. But as in, uh, you shot an a arrow flex. in front of my friend, I'm gonna shoot an arrow in front sure. of you, bitch. Sure. <laughs> She's a bitch. I see. see Why did you learn those words, Rizifidra? She learned from oh, the Bizona best. Oh, Bizona taught them to me. <laughs> it means very nice woman. <laughs> Wow. Uh... Wow. Not specific, but okay. Let's see. And it's again. So. Okay. And for the satyr. Okay. Uh, Recifitra. You are first. What would you like to do against this one? Um. Satyr. You're about 20 feet away from it. Uh, what? Do, do I know anything about Sailors? I can't uh, what they've been taught so far. That would be an action to learn about them. Ah, uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah. In that case, uh, I will, uh, yeah, turn around to them and, uh, like, um... Yeah, I, I, uh, I decide that apparently shooting an arrow in front of it doesn't seem uh, to be enough to, uh... A, repay it for what it's uh, apparently about to do to us, and B, scared away. So, I think I'm gonna vomit on it. Oh, vomit? <laughs> I will cast Ray Beautiful. of Sickness. Ray of Sickness. Jesus Christ. So, what does he need to succeed? Uh, I will do a spell attack roll. A ranged spell attack. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, I, I assume this sits. Um, yeah, I would say, I'd say um, yes. A little bit. In that case, it takes um, 2d8 poison damage and must make a constitution save. Okay. Ooh, succeeded. Alright. The counter case, 20, it, uh, wow. Suffers no further uh, effects, but it does take the full damage. Yeah, so, so what's the damage? Six plus. Six damage. So, um, in that so case. Do I, do I get that to be a 12 for the crit? <laughs> uh, yeah, it would be a 12 for crit. Okay. Yeah, I there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in that case, it's now the Satyr's turn. Um, let's see, any mini mini mo it's a tiger by the toe. Uh, one, two... Not by the toe! Uh, Recipitra, there's another arrow from the tree line that shoots at you. Let's see. An eight. <laughs> You're almost letting you see a, a, an arrow just whizzes past you. 
uh, completely missing you entirely, but you realize that this is not the only cedar. As this cedar in front of you is gonna chuckle at you uh, and then points uh, its mace at you with these two uh, orbs stuck in the center of it, kind of midair. It is not the only trick I know. Let me show you some. As all of a sudden, uh, the maze gets squeezed tighter and uh, from these two uh, beads, freeze tiny little specks emerge. Uh, it's gonna cast a scorching ray on you. Mm -mm. Mm. Yes. So, it is gonna... Give me a second. Oh god. Fail this. Okay. And I think your armor class is... 16. So, the first and the second one hits. So, technically, you take 40... 46 fire damage. Oh my god. You take 13 points of fire damage as two of those bolts hit you. Uh, Jesus can Christ. I can I hear this? Can I hear the sounds of like fire spells being cast? Not yet, I'm sorry. Please. Yeah. Anyway. Uh that's a turn of the Seder. A fair in Europe. You know, it's at this point I Heavily regret spending all of my spell slots on two elks. <laughs> I feel like that was not the smartest thing. Beautiful. Okay, how far away from me is he? Uh, about 15 feet. Okay, I'll run at him, the 15 feet. I'm gonna grapple him. That's an action. Okay, so yeah. roll, roll your athletics or cripple. Roll 22. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna use my I, wait, I'm gonna the, use my divine favor to add plus 2d4. Divine my favor. My divine soul sorcerer. I I refuse to. Go on. Wait a minute. No, <laughs> I fail. Because you that take is... deals an extra. Well, here's the thing: it it just uh, empowers you with divine radiance, and your weapon attack just deals additional d4. Oh no, sorry, I said the wrong word. Favored by the gods, divine soul level one. If I fail a saving throw or miss with an attack roll, I can add 2d4 to the total. Oh. This, this is neither a saving throw nor an attack roll. It's an ability check. I'm stupid. Jesus Christ. I'm anyway. Sorry. Top of the round. Oh my god, it wasn't an attack. <laughs> Top of the round. It is Recipitra's turn. Recipitra! A bit toasty over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not too bad, honestly. Um, after all, I gotta get ready to eat magma. <laughs> um, <laughs> the preparation. Indeed. I gotta, I gotta build up a resistance. Um... How, uh, how impressed does he seem by my vomit attack? Like, is he, does he seem weakened by it? Does he seem uh, hurt? he seems uh, slightly weakened, but he seems very cocky about this whole situation. Poison spray? Yes, constitution spray. Uh, isn't that an AoE? Uh, no, it is 10 feet, one creature. Okay. Like 10 feet range. Okay. Creature, okay, okay, okay. So, in that case, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, contact against 15. Oh, 15, okay. Do, do, do. Natural one. 
So, uh, it takes D12. Yeah, so roll me D12 then uh, for poison. Oh, six. Okay. Okay, it's, uh, it's not. It's 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 skin or fur becomes sickly. Its skin becomes a bit discolored. He looks a bit nauseous. Um, looking at you, cause it's top of the round. Let's roll the dice. See how who gets fucking attemptively hit. Uh, Resipitra, you again. Uh, arrow misses past. Does it hit? It fucking misses. Uh, as as the satyr looks, yeah. As the satyr looks, I haven't noticed any of the arrows. Yeah. I'm completely oblivious. As as the satyr looks at you, Fair, and says, "You dare?" and swings twice. For mace. I don't like when it has to attack. That um. Mean anything good for us. Uh, I think both of them miss. I wish I was level 5, I could have two Eldritch Bloods by now. <laughs> and, uh, oh. yeah. Technically, that is the end of his turn. Okay. Um, in that case, fair in Europe. Mm. It's a bad idea for me to shove him, right? Because the rest of it just casting ranged attacks. Mr. Fitra is like, kill him, kill him! Okay, I'll blade him. <laughs> it's a miss. It misses. What? It's a miss? Yeah, it's a miss. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just kind of... So we both swing at each other, we both... <laughs> we both... <laughs> and a swing, and a miss. <laughs> and a swing, and a miss. You basically parry with your shield the blows from the maze while he dexterously dodges all of them. Uh, top of the round, Resifitra, you're up again. Well, um... I am not done cutting up noxious gases, so please <laughs> not against uh, 15. Oh my... <laughs> Okay, let's see. Again. Okay, fail again. Let's go. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I'm back. Welcome back. We're, we're having, like, <laughs> this, this is, this is again, no. So, okay, eight points. Uh, a Valentine, Ural, and Dania roll me a perspec uh, perception check. Shut Perspective up. check, Yura and Perception. Yeah. Perce Valentine. Uh, I'm blind, right. I attack, but I miss. <laughs> I attack again. I oh, I'm blind. Yeah, they I'm need legit blind. I, I, I jinxed it. Fuck. Uh, Danny, if you want to roll perception, that'd be great. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Valentine, Danny, about a minute, and you hear swings and hits, uh, metal heal hitting shield, and then looking at the tree line, you see on you. Two satyrs drawing bows at them. They still haven't fired. What would you like to do? Valentine and Denia. Oh, two distributed fire. I direct, I direct Jockey to uh, engage the satyr that's closest to us. Uh-huh. And... I look at Denia and I ask, can you do any kind of summoning? I can summon undead. That's, That's perfect. perfect. Direct the or undead to attack that other satyr over there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna leave Jackie to that. <laughs> Wait, let me look up. Because summon undead gives me a couple options. He, he 
can hold his own, right? The, the idea is that Jockey uh, can fight one satyr by himself. And if he can't, well, then Jockey wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I'll, I'll make that roll. So basically, you basically, Valentine, you send Jockey for one, and then Dania goes for the other. Dania's minion, minion goes, goes for the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, crap. I need a component to, to use it. What kind of component? According to wiki.com D&D 5e, I need a gilded skull worth at least 300 gold. Well, Fuck. well, technically, have a skull. We, have we do have a skull, but it's not gilded. Um, I would, I would say it is Wait, gilded. Holy shit! Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I Wait, take my helmet a... off and I put, I put it on, on the, the antler. antler. <laughs> okay. And I hand <laughs> this combination of items to Dania and I say, "Does this work?" Yes. So, so what you're gonna sum? Oh us? my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh you call forth an undead spirit and manifest an unoccupied space that you can see within range. The corporeal form uses undead spirit stat block. When you cast a spell, the creature's form, ghastly, putrid, or skeletal, the spirit resembles an undead creature with the chosen form, which determines its stats. The creature appear disappears when it drops to zero points or when the spell ends. It lasts for an hour. So I guess I'll go with skeletal. Okay. So a skeleton goes for one satyr, jockey goes for another, and you all book it to Faerun and Recifitra. Speaking of both Correct. of them, uh, let's see. Uh, let's let's roll the die, see who gets potentially hit with an arrow. <laughs> Recifitra, somebody fucking dislikes you. <laughs> Seventeen, it hits. Uh, honestly, I think the die it... dislikes me at this point. You, sure you take know. nine points of piercing damage as all of a sudden you realize there is some, <laughs> as all of a sudden you realize there is someone uh trying to get you which is horrible and painful yeah. um and the satyr the one that Faron is fighting uh just says enough of these games and proceeds to cast scorching ray on Faron. Faron. Yep. Let's go. So let's see. I'm gonna roll for for three individual attacks. So first one does not hit. Second one does not hit. Good thing that's <laughs> advantage and not advantage on this thing. And the third one does not hit. So he, you basically professionally ping pong all the scorching ray blasts with your shield, taking a single hit. Pain on the other hand, you're up. What would you like to do? Blocking all those block machines. He's weakened, get him! If I, if I, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna smack him because that's all I can do right now. Sure, roll to hit. Wait, we could, we could try something cheeky. If, if I booming blade him again, and then both me and Rick are the end of mine. <laughs> this, this eternal battle, this eternal stalemate. <laughs> Recifitra, top of the round. The satyr um, is hitting the favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm just embarrassed. I want to uh, turn to the satyr once again and be like, uh, it is funny that you think that we won't leave this forest because you will very soon inside my stomach and I want to cast poison spray at them. What now? That's another poison spray. Okay. Another another con save from him. Yep. Oh natural twenty. Oh. <laughs> he is angry. Angry. Uh Let's see. What is he gonna do? What's the well first of all let's roll again, see who gonna hits gonna hit the arrows. Oh my god, Resifitra! Like I said, I'm not 
Bruh. 16 in hits. Oh no. No. The A plus two. Four. You take okay, four. Okay. You, you're. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. As all of a sudden, the satyr gets extremely mad. And says, enough of these games. Swings hit you fair and once. Misses. And then proceeds to run towards Recipitra. Fair and you get an attack of opportunity on him. And he also gets Screaming Bladed. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh, so, 8 damage. But, 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 but did you hit any No, he didn't. Oh, oh shit, I he... didn't hit the last <laughs> round. No. Attack of opportunity. Let's see if it hits. Oh no. This is I'm gonna die. I want to believe. <laughs> oh my god! I don't believe! <laughs> oh, what is this? No! It's god. rigged! Okay, it's rigged. uh, roll, just roll, Fairer, just roll me a d100 real quick. I, I, I vote for a new dice spot. This one is clearly <laughs> <against> <laughs> Listen. Okay, you just, you just <laughs> miss. Uh, it's gonna try to attack you, Recipit, with its other attack. 21! Oh, what? Shit! Okay, okay, okay. So it's gonna be a d6 plus d6 plus 6. 12! <laughs> Oh. You're a 2 HP! It's fine, I can, I'll run over and heal uh, you what, next round. What kind of damage is this? Um, one is bludgeoning and the other is fire. Oh, As no. it swings and it connects, all of a sudden there's a sudden burst of fire. And it scalds yeah. you for a- But, like, isn't it's blood- It's just one fire damage, right? One fire damage, yeah. Yeah, okay. Then I don't mind. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Baron, you're up. Okay. Um I'll I'll run after this this angry goat man. <laughs> and wait, let me think. Is that an action to to let it's an action to heal. Okay. In which case, I'm gonna try and shove this Sator over. Shove towards what? Shove him prone. <laughs> Roll me a strength check versus strength saving pro. Yeah, you just like try rugby tackle him. Jesus Christ. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just run in and just fucking tack him to the ground. <laughs> let me, let me just. Mr. President. <laughs> Give me a second. I just want to check something. Oh, fuck. As soon as soon as you tackle him, he doesn't and all of a sudden he loses his grip on the right hand and the entire mage just flies like twenty feet in front of him. He is on the ground and without any weapons. Um but that's not... your action. That's your action. Yeah yeah. Um now for the rest of you three, roll me another perception check. Uh Uriel, Valentine, Jania. We love perception. Maybe you'll love this one as well. Let's see. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's 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 would capture the couple things. Just couple things. Uh. Oh, why am I blind? Why am I blind? You really actually see something. Don't worry. Oh, nice! Finally. So, uh, running, uh, hearing. The, the shouts, the screaming, and the uh, uh, whistles of firebolts. Uh, Valentine and Ural, you see in front of you a tree line. And behind one of the trees, in f basically in front of you, of the trees, there's a satyr with a bow aiming at ahead of you. And you see between the tree lines where he's looking, you see... Uh, there's a picture with two arrows sticking out of its body. Uh, Feyren on the ground with the satyr, gone sexual, gone wrong. Um, <laughs> no! And Taylor, Ural, and Valentine, you spot the satyr who's basically uh, 
a, a yeah. just 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 in cover from their perspective, shooting at them. What would you like to do? Ooh, okay. Let me let me think. Oh my god, let me. Let me I think am overcome with confidence from my dart throw from earlier. <laughs> oh no. Do I have eyes on the satyr with the with the mace? Uh. You see the satyr on the ground, maybe 60 feet ahead of you, through the tree line. So I do, ha I do have a direct line yes, of sight? Yes, you see, you would see it. Okay, awesome, phenomenal. Hold you're, on. You're gonna shoot like, a dart at it? Like the top of oh, I'm not gonna throw a dart. I'm gonna throw my cold iron dagger at him. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh, friendship, but I gave him. Used to save me. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking and about. Ah. Uh, 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 okay, so your dad. Do we get a disadvantage? Mm, yeah, you would get a disadvantage. Yeah, yes. Prone. I believe. You sound disappointed. Believe. Yeah, I want you, I want you to do cool shit. Uh, <gasps> so basically, you check a dagger, uh, and it misses. Uh, from Rusufitros and Faris. Uh, perspective from from the tree line all of a sudden just a sudden dagger hits you five feet next like next to you just on the ground uh yes Ural, uh what would you like to do seeing as you see the satyr with the bow oh i want to uh... i want to Cast a level two witch bolt. Ooh. No, wait, wait. How many feet away am I away from this guy? About twenty. Oh, perfect. Per perfect. It's all coming together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to cast a level two witch bolt. That means, like, if I hit, I can put another one d twelve on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Right, I need to uh, I need to roll for hits. I want to believe. Now I forget, is it plus five or plus seven? Oh my god! It's, I bonus. it's seven. But if I don't hit this. Oh, it hits. Let's go. All getting two d twelve in your ass, bitch. Yeah. Okay, roll, roll damage. Oh, fuck. Uh... Bam. 15 points. Okay. So... I snipe this guy. Okay. So... Everybody... So the while the while the satyr is not dead, it gets shocked. Immediately looks at you and starts to run away. Oh and right, I, because it's because it's uh. No 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 no. Wait 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 wait. Yeah, the one that shot. The one that was shooting. Oh right. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? On it takes 1d12 lightning damage on each of your turns for duration. You can use your action to do 1d12 lightning damage to the target automatically. Yeah. Oh my god! And because it's the second level spell, I can do I can do, do 2d12? Nope, it's it's initial oh. damage. Okay. Oh, so th I thought it was broken. <laughs> yeah, so uh what what are you gonna do? You're gonna just chase around the satyr just zap him every turn? Yeah, of course. Okay, you see Euro, you see Euro's like, I smell blood and starts running out to the satyr. Um, eh, okay, okay. Um, the uh, Recifitra, 2 HP, the person, the satyr in front of you is on the ground without a weapon. What would you like to do? I would like to reach for the cold steel dagger as a free item interaction since I have nothing in my hand. Uh -huh. And I would like to stab on him while he's on yeah, the ground. With, with advantage, let's go, cause he's prone. 
Uh, what, what, what were the words with the guy again? Was it plus one or was it... Uh, Valentine, is it a plus one or plus two? Come on. Ah, uh, what? Uh... Oh, wait, oh... It's a plus two. Spread oh, wait, the, the, the cold iron? Cold iron is an additional 1d4. Ooh! Hey, yo. Wait, are, are we talking... That, that no, no, right. no. I yeah, yeah. To oh. oh, it's a plus six. The, the, oh, sorry. No, no, no. The, uh, the, uh, the, it was, it's a plus one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A plus one. Okay. So it's a plus one dagger for me to hit both. Yeah. Okay. Good. In that case, I will. With advantage, because it's prone, and if it hits, it's a critical because right, he's prone. Advantage. Uh, I don't think it's a critical. Combat would need to be. Uh... It's prone. Unable to move at all, paralyzed. Uh, yeah, no, you need to be helpless. Uh, only, only, uh... Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm... If you say so, I have the DM, but if you say so... Um, I so... Mean, if, if you want to rule it that way, it's... it's so okay, hard. roll, roll to hit. I want to see how much, if you can actually hit. Ah, uh, that's a hit. That's a roll hit. damage. Which is a D4 on top of D4 because it's coal iron, okay, and of course, so and of course, plus one is a dagger. So, uh, okay, so two D4 and another one on the damage, so plus three. God, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I so I uh, I extend my tentacle and grab the dagger. As I uh, turn to the theater and I'm like, I will take you out of these woods once I leave. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I basically open my mouth and like a gesture of uh, I'm gonna eat you as I just ram the dagger into his hand. Oh. I think she lost her, in her mind. I'm gonna be honest here. So. The Satan wants to say something, a curse or something, and then it falls silent, plops on the ground, dead. Uh, technically, combat is over. Yurl, just roll me a d12. Hold on, what's going on with the jockey and the skeleton? Uh, you oh. have to, you have to come back and see what happened to them. I oh. made some rolls. Did my skeleton use Grave Bolt? <laughs> yeah, you will you will see when the time comes, but uh Euro, roll me a D12, I wanna see if you can kill it with a zap real quick. You will Give me a sec. Euro Euro Doko. He has perished. Sorry, my parent walked in. Uh, what again? Oh, a D12. Ah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, as. Do this. Zap this guy. Zap him! Yep. <laughs> Come on. How much? Oh! Yeah! You basically chase him for a few seconds and just fucking crackled your hand, just. Sh the satyr shakes violently and just falls over dead. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to catch my breath because I have not much strength. I have like no. <laughs> so I used all of my, uh, my strength up. So technically, you the combat is over. Uh, you have two dead satyrs, one by electrocution, and one by uh bludgeoning, tackling, sickness, and then. Puncturing for skull with dagger. Um, I uh, I will hand the dagger back to Valentine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Since after all, it was my gift to him. And yeah, then I will uh, start fulfilling my promise. I am extremely proud of you, Resafitra. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Dis you. Disgusting, yet. Yet proud. Um, uh, okay. Recipitra, before you start eating that guy, mind if I take that and I, and I point at his weapon? Wait, like, did you just forget me? I just sprinted off after this guy. 
I'll come back in a minute, but Valentine has seen a cool thing and he wants it. Uh, how about I, uh, I put it in my mouth first, you know? Find out what that is has. acceptable. Oh, 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 before you do that, Resipetra, you realize that these two spots on the base are literally the same spots that were in the Elks. Ooh. Mm, mm. They were just, they're lazily hanging in basically an open area in this maze. Floatly, uh, floating, cal <coughs> calmly floating. So does the maze always look normal or does it look like it's uh, actually... Uh, it looks, it looks like it's made of simple uh, metal. Like just simple gray iron and just these two are floating. You don't know if they're bound? by anything or they just decided to stick to this weapon they're not sticking they're like floating in the center of it yeah the, the mace is hollow on the inside and has the yeah. the, the fire gems suspended in inside yes. so what do you think should i should i try it again mm. last time you put that in your body the gems broke i don't think they valentine size you know, I, I was about to say something, but I actually don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is the last time you put something like that in your body, it broke, and I want it. Hmm. Okay, so how about we take it with us for now? I try eating the gem in the deer again, and if that, if that doesn't work, then we don't do it. That is perfectly acceptable. I'll hang on to the mace in the meantime. Hmm. Okay. Now if okay. you excuse me, and I get to eating the guy. Okay. Yeah, munch that thing. Fucking kill him. Okay, so I, I I killed that one giant, like, you know. Seder, yeah. Yeah, Seder, yeah. Yeah. I want to search him. Do I find Investigation. Something? Investigation. Oh my god, I think. Oh, I have a plus three on that now. Um, and what are you doing with the other Seder body, Risa Fisher Valentine? What are you. He's devouring it. I, I know, I know, but. Like, Delicious. I thought that you. Okay, never mind. Fuck, it's gone again. You have, My you, luck is gone. You have... Mm, you find nothing. It's it's just... It, it smells of slightly burned fur and flesh. And it's kind of disgusting, honestly. Um, I... I... I try to, like, scream. Hey, I killed this guy! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> He kind of smells disgusting. Do you want to see if he has something? I don't want to approach this. <laughs> I kind of fried him up a bit. I had myself inside the, the head for a moment. I go, oh, Jockey! And I, you know, I grab the mace and I go running back to where Jockey was. Okay. Uh, what are everybody else doing at the place before? Bro? I follow because I remember my skeleton. <laughs> Does Res <laughs> uh, Res Richard, do you want healing? I can heal. I would love healing. Okay, uh, how much healing I can I give I don't want to you? leave this guy just on the floor, maybe has something cool, but I'm too stupid to find it, please. I can give you 15 uh, HP. Since you that haven't will... found it, I guess you are uh, very sure that he doesn't have anything. Uh, I know, but I mean, I don't care either, I know. <laughs> I'm back on 17 HP then. Okay, yeah. Right. 17 HP, okay. Thank you. Um, Wait, did he, didn't he have a mace in his hand as well? Yeah, or but Valentine, uh, Valentine, Valentine got it. Valentine got the mace. Also, Valentine. Wait, he wait, he dropped it when you ran away. Uh, no, no, no. The, the the other guy had the mace. The one you killed only had the bow. Yeah. Mm. It has a simple wooden bow with literally arrows made of wood. These are sharp ah. arrows, but uh. Anyway, okay, then I'm gonna book yeah. go back. Uh, Valentine and Danny, uh, making your way back where you basically set off um, the people. You see four dead satyr blooded and this, this disfigured. And then you hear groans of shouting. Valentine, from the path where you sent off uh, Jockey and Dania, uh, you see Jockey somewhere 30 feet to the side of the woods Basically bashing a satyr's head in into a tree. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Covered yes. in blood. <laughs> Wait, how did they take down five of them? <laughs> did he have the skeleton help? 
Uh, you don't see anywhere the skeleton. <laughs> what happened here was a magic, <laughs> mythical feat. <laughs> Where's my baby? The doom, the doom music starts kicking in. Yeah, basically. What the fuck did you roll? <laughs> I hear <laughs> One in a million, baby. One in a million. <laughs> That's what I roll. Um, but yeah, you see Valentine. Uh, Jockey is covered in blood, not his own blood, as he's screaming and bashing. Uh, you realize a dead satyr's head into the tree. <laughs> he is under a, some sort of bloodlust at this very second, Valentine. What would you like to do? I stand there and I watch him doing it, and then I, I I set my I set the mace down, and I just start clapping. And I go, Jockey, what a spectacular show this has been! You did you did this all on your own. He takes a deep breath, stops, releases his hand, and the fucking satyr flops dead on the ground. Looks back at you, eyes bloodshot. He was my friend. He saved my life. These what is going on? Uh, wait. I'm not understanding. The skeleton? The sk The... A creature of bone. Help me. And it died. Aww. You look genuinely sad about it. Aww. 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 Jockey, where's the skull? <laughs> uh, looking around, you see uh, the, yeah, the pl in the place where you sent off the skeleton, there is uh, the the skull with a Valentine's helmet chilling on the ground. Oh, my baby. <laughs> it was my first one. <laughs> Valentine. Well, it looks like it did good. Damn. Uh, I take my helmet back and I put it on. <laughs> the man is covered in blood. Like, like you realize if you put a finger into it, there is probably like a layer of blood on it. Not like like a fresh. There's a layer. I instruct Jockey to come with me. Uh. And he and I, he and I walk down to where the dead. Uh, Big Seder is how far into being eaten is he? Uh, at this moment, it's been like two minutes. He's like a third of it, it's dead. If consumed, yeah. Almost done. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is his nice green scarf still undigested? Wait, it's... like his loin cloth, or I mean, no? He's wearing like he's wearing like a like green, that. a long green scarf. <sighs> Wait, I mean, it, it, in the art, it, it, oh it's... yeah, it, it is. It uh, here's the thing: it is not digesting. It is not getting destroyed by your acids, Rizafitra. Huh. Mm. Well, I will first finish eating them and then get to that. Oh, it's wait. Is it special? Because I thought I would give it to Jockey because he did a good job. But if it's magic, yeah, I mean, you don't know. I, mean, I still think he deserves it, but <laughs> I, I will. Once, once I'm done with him, <laughs> I have some time to uh, focus on the taste of the scarf, and I can that, tell you. <laughs> that's fine, Recipitri. You don't, don't, don't talk with your mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know why, but I just imagine Recipitra as a dope boy and there's just like bones floating around like oh <laughs> delicious oh satyr bones <laughs> oh. oh What we need oh, to do yeah. is we need to get Dianea a permanent gilded skull. Can't keep using my helmet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, well, yeah, once once I'm done uh, ingesting him, I would like to ritual identify the scarf. I will tell you what the skull has, not the skull, the scarf has in store, but I think it's gonna be end soon because it's been almost three hours. Oh yeah, it's three. Yeah. Yes, 
Well, well, I would say we go like uh, maybe back to the deer and then enter or something. Yeah, go back to the deer, retrieve the stones, and now you have three of those stones. Payday. Yeah, we we still have to decide what we do with them, but we can do that next time. Mm hmm. So yeah, I think so, that's. Oh yeah, I, I would say I would say identify the scarf, go back to the deer, and then next time we can decide what we do with the stones and how we proceed from there. Okay. Oh, that's a good way to call it. So. Anything you want to say before I'm shutting the stream down with no survivors? Because, yeah. Uh, are you just going to send me what the scarf does? Or? I'll send you what it does. Don't worry. Then you okay. can decide if you want to hog it for yourself and say that it's ah, not important. <laughs> uh, but yeah, congratulations. You got yourself a name now. Henceforth, Yay! this this campaign will be the known as the, the Wandering Wipers. There you go. Well, Woo! I mean... I oh am quite fortunate, and with what we've established today with uh, Alter Self, maybe I could also be a snake if I try hard enough. Oh boy. I'm legit a <laughs> hob... I, I, I'm legit, like, nothing like a snake. Like, nothing. Are you sure? I think you're a snake. <laughs> what do you mean? I can have wings! <laughs> anyway, you eat things anyway. sometimes? Like a snake? Oh god, you like eggs like a snake? Damn. I don't lay eggs like a snake. No, e eat, eat. Are we sure? I've never seen you lay any eggs. I also have never seen you not lay eggs. Anyway, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. And all. I guess. Uh, I'd rather consider myself a bird than it, a snake. If you want to say anything, say now or rest in peace because I'm shutting the stream with no survivors. Go. Do elves not lay eggs. Hold on. 